Hey everyone, it's Ryan from Foxtech. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to get rid of saved pictures on your iPhone that were added from your Mac. This is a pretty common situation, and it often catches people off guard when they see photos popping up on their iPhone that they didn't specifically put there. It's all tied to iCloud synchronization, and today I'll explain exactly how you can manage this. So, let's start by understanding why this happens. If you're seeing photos on your iPhone that you added to your Mac, it's likely due to iCloud synchronization. iCloud is Apple's cloud storage service that allows you to keep your photos, files, and other data in sync across all your devices. I'm going to assume here that both your iPhone and Mac are connected to the same Apple ID account. If that's the case, you might have iCloud Photos synchronization enabled, which means that all photos you save on your Mac are automatically shared across all your devices, including your iPhone. Now, you can manage all of this easily from the Settings app on your iPhone. If you go into the Apple ID section within your Settings and tap on iCloud, you'll see a tab for Photos. This is where the magic happens, or the frustration, depending on how you look at it. There's a toggle here that, when enabled, syncs all your photos across all your devices. That's why, when you save a photo on your Mac, it ends up showing up on your iPhone as well. If you want to stop this from happening and get rid of those photos on your iPhone, the solution is pretty straightforward. You can simply disable this synchronization. When you turn off iCloud Photos, the photos that were synced from your other devices, like your Mac, will be removed from your iPhone. It's important to note, though, that this also means any other photos stored in iCloud will be removed from your iPhone as well. Only the photos that are stored locally on your iPhone will remain. So, keep that in mind before you make this change. Alternatively, if you want to keep iCloud Photos enabled but prevent specific photos from showing up on your iPhone, there's another approach you can take. On your Mac, instead of storing your photos in the Photos app, where they get synced to iCloud, you can store them in the Finder app. The Finder app is your Mac's file manager, and it doesn't sync photos to your iPhone. By keeping your photos in Finder and not in the Photos app, you can prevent them from being automatically shared with your other Apple devices. That's pretty much all there is to it. Whether you choose to turn off iCloud Photos entirely or just move your photos on your Mac to a different location, you can easily control what shows up on your iPhone. I hope this video has helped clear things up for you and you now have a better understanding of how to manage your photos across your Apple devices. Thanks so much for watching. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Foxtech for more tech tips and tutorials. See you guys later.